Welcome back to Rev It Up Bowling. My name is Jason Robarge, and today we got another ball review for you. What we're gonna be doing today is reviewing the new Black Pearl Hammer, Black Pearl Urethane from Hammer. It is the successor to the Purple Hammer, which is arguably one of the best urethanes ever made. But this one came out because of the rule changes with the PBA. The PBA increased their hardness on certain bowling balls, like urethanes, in order to, before urethanes, especially on tour, were a little bit of a cheat code. A lot of people could use them, kind of take the lane out of play and reduce the skill gap overall. PBA wanted to uh, change the rules in order to make these a little less used, primarily used on the tour. They came out with this one. This still has the LED core, like that's in the purple hammer. It has a high RG 2.6 plus and a low diff of uh, 0.013 and a 14 and 0.015 in a 15. What I'm gonna be doing is bowling on last year's Nationals double as a single shot. The reason I laid this out is because we had to play urethane on it. Now with Nationals coming up, you guys might want to see kind of what this ball does on the pattern from last year. Far what I've seen at Nationals this year is it looks pretty similar, or you're gonna have to throw urethane in doubles and singles. I wanted to throw this, kind of get an idea of what it does here, and see if I'm gonna bring it down to Nationals, which I probably will, but we'll see. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the Nationals double and singles pattern. Last year, I actually had to like belly or swing the the urethane quite a bit. Uh, but for now, what I'm gonna do is kind of just get lined up the gutter. Usually with urethane, most of the time, we're gonna be playing a very front to back kind of shape. Usually we're gonna play a little bit farther right, simply because these don't hook a ton. With this one, again, the hardness is different. I do expect some differences between this and the purple, but I will be doing a comparison between this, the purple, and the new hammer here shortly. Stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get lined up. Let's see if we can strike. All right, I'm gonna try to go around five. We'll see. Nice. So that was probably like five to like two. I bellied a little bit. One thing about my game, playing straighter angles is a little bit more difficult for me. I kind of have that figure eight swing a little bit. I got to really shut down my angles to get comfortable. Playing up the boards wouldn't necessarily be my A game just because I don't do it too often. However, it is very nice not having the stand really far left. What I saw with that shot was it was smooth. I didn't really see a massive difference between that and the purple where I'm standing now. This ball especially, I drill them slightly different. With this having such a low diff with a harder cover stock, what I wanted to do was maximize as much flare as possible. I put a three and three eighths by 25 on this. The idea is to have it just kind of use its energy early and be very mellow down lane. The purple hammer sometimes for me can be a little bit too continuous, just keeps going a little bit on the back end. It doesn't hook on the back, but it, it still travels left. If I can get this one to be a little bit more front to back, I feel like it might be a little bit more versatile for me for this given like layout and everything. So that was like five to one. Uh, let's move just a little bit farther left. I don't wanna get it going too far right. All right. All right, not too bad. I kept that one inside a little bit more. Didn't see the friction as well. Left a soft seven, came up behind the head pin a little bit, or just didn't have enough angle really going through the pocket. I wanna play that same shot, but I wanna belly it to the dry a little earlier. I'm gonna open my angles up to the right just a little bit. <laughs> too much, oh, maybe, maybe. I bellied it a little bit too much on that. One thing I did notice about this one versus the purple, I'll get into more comparisons with the purple later i just want to review this one but it is definitely less continuous with this with this layout i've really maximized flare which makes the ball burn more energy early it's still a urethane so it's going to burn early regardless which makes it have a little bit less energy on the back move back right a little bit it kind of seems like it likes playing those straighter angles more which is awesome i love to see that this one's probably gonna be around six seven to three four down lane probably or in the gutter so it doesn't hook off the gray boards. It does not hook off the gray board. <laughs> if you guys play the gutter, don't be afraid of throwing it in the gutter. It happens. The only way to get comfortable up the gutter is not being afraid to throw it in the gutter. <laughs> but don't do it too often. Try that again. Nice. With your thing, and you guys are gonna see this especially on the spec though, you should really bring your eyes towards the foul line with urethane. Urethane makes most of its motion in the first 30 feet or so. It's gonna really wanna hook and set up towards the pocket. And that's why urethane's good, because it can take the lane, that last 30 feet, 
out of play. So yes, you're playing the pattern, but at the same time, I mean, really you're shortening the lane up by quite a bit because it doesn't, your thing usually doesn't do a whole lot on the back end. If you can play those angles early, you can be able to control the pocket just because this ball doesn't, you know, hook on the back end as much or anything like that. Your thing's really good to control angle. I like that one quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and try to repeat that same shot just to make sure that's my line. And then we're gonna move off of that. So that was probably six to four, seven to four. Far what I see with this ball, as far as like how it's lining up, I personally feel like I need to square up a little bit more. Uh, right now, I'm trying to belly it a little bit. That one, it kind of missed the spot a little bit early, like later. It, it just missed the spot early, kind of floated a little bit and got behind the head pin. The one before kind of hooked up a little early because I grabbed it. What I want to do, probably move right a little bit. That way there's more friction and can kind of blend out the ball a little bit better. This one, we're going to try to move kind of up five, uh, moderate speed. My back hurt, I'm not throwing it hard, that's for sure. Nice, all right. That was like up five, right of five. Blended much better, but since this is a ball review, we're gonna play around. I'm gonna go ahead and move left a little bit. What we had to do at Nationals last year was very unique. I haven't had to do this with the urethane often, but we kind of had to slow wheel a little bit. We had to open our angles up, slow it down a ton, in order for that ball to have the right angle through the pocket. Last year at Nationals, I was able to hit the pocket, kind of going up the boards with urethane, but I was tr having trouble striking. So I need to change that angle. I moved left, slowed down a lot, and that's kind of what I did and bowled pretty well. We're gonna move left a little bit, slow it down, see if we can have as much recovery as this with this ball as we did with the purple. Not too bad. It's definitely less continuous on the back end. I think with that, maxing that flare out, especially with that low vowel angle, it goes, you know, with a low vowel, it goes pin up usually. It increases dip even more. This ball, even though it has a small weight block as far as the differential goes, I did try to max out as much as possible. It does flare in a pretty okay amount, especially compared to a .013 that it comes with. That's not a lot of flair. Plastic ball is .001 usually is what they mark it. All right, I'm gonna try to do that again. This ball is less continuous off the back end. So bellying the ball probably won't fit this particular ball too well with the drilling I have on it. However, I feel like with the purple, it definitely have more continuation. Stay left a little bit. I liked everything about that shot. I'm just gonna get around it a little bit more. Nice, yeah, adds a little bit more entry angle to it. Also getting around it helps get the ball down lane. The urethane still hooks early, but farther than it did before. I really like that shape. I feel like that's a little bit more consistent versus playing that ball right, like I just was. Seemed like that ball wanted to hook early or just kind of burn up and not make it back with any power. Try that again. Nice. When you guys are looking for urethane, primarily urethane, especially for a high rev player like me, won't be used on house shot. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. The lane's already blended out. I don't have to take the lane out of play as much. For house shots, for me, I don't really throw urethane. However, there are some people out there that love throwing urethane on house shots. Those guys are typically playing up the boards a little bit more, you know, sometimes a little rev rate, and it just allows them to get the ball set up early and have enough time to make it back to the pocket because it is hooking so early. Uh, those kind of people will definitely benefit from a ball like this. If you like the purple or the double cross from Radical, something like that, and you want a little bit less bowling ball, this would be it. A few more shots. I'm gonna move left a little bit more. I just wanna check the OB, which I think I'm already next to it, but this one I'm definitely gonna have to slow down quite a bit, otherwise I know it's not hooking back. <laughs> I really hit up on that one, but uh, either way, it struck. It definitely, like I said, hooks early. It's a urethane. When you guys do talk to your pro shop operators about this kind of bowling ball, I don't usually suggest like long pin to paps. The RG is already high. The diff is already low. There's no point to raise or lower. You're just gonna take a lot of performance out of the ball. So pin to paps for this kind of bowling ball, you know, max it out three and three eighths or, you know, somewhere on the four if you do want to increase the RG a little bit. Mess around with a shorter pin to pap. It will definitely help getting that ball started up early. You know, 
we have balls that go left to right. Like a lot of bowling balls these days do that. If you want to drill something like this to create a different shape, go with something like a more extreme layout, like a three and three eighths pin to pap, get that flare potential up. I think it would definitely help, especially with this core with it being such a low diff. Just cause I haven't done it in forever. We're going to attempt to go right a five. There's a strong possibility it goes into the gray boards. Oh, I did it. Ah, oh, uh, that one just, again, just too much dry. It just doesn't have enough oomph into the pocket. It really burns up. Had a really straight entry angle into the pocket. I can't believe I did that, especially with the way my back feels. All right, we're gonna throw one more. Just a good overall good shot. With urethanes, when they work, they work really good. When they don't, they can still roll really good, but you're gonna leave a lot of stuff like that. You know, seven pins, 10 pins, and that's just because of entry angle. Urethanes provide a shallower entry angle, typically. So you may leave some more corners and that's just something to pay attention to when you are throwing this ball or any urethane. Yes, pay attention to the shape, but you still need to go through the pins properly. All right, I just want to throw a good shot for my last one. My back is on fire. Oh, hey, trip the four, trip the four. I like this ball for sure. I think it's going to be one of those ones where now at Nationals, you can still throw the purple. If I'm looking for more continuation, I probably will bring the purple. If I'm looking for a little bit straighter front to back, probably bring the black hammer to Nationals. It's gonna be one of those balls where it kind of takes the lane out of play a little bit. A lot of the guys who are scoring, especially on a doubles and singles pattern, are throwing urethane at Nationals. Keep that in mind. If you're going to Nationals soon, maybe pick up one of these. It'll probably help you, especially on doubles and singles. If you're a lower F player, you could probably get away without having it. But if you're moderate to a higher rev player, bring urethane. It definitely helps, adds a different shape to your bag. But that was the review of the Black Pearl urethane from Hammer. It's their new, new uh, urethane for the PBA Tour. It is obviously for everyone else as well, but on the PBA Tour, they have to throw this one. They cannot throw the purple anymore. It's kind of that replacement. However, the purple hammer is still readily available. Uh, if you guys love that ball, drill another one. I mean, they work great. I have three or four of them and I've enjoyed every single one of them. It's gonna be definitely hard to put away the GOAT and not take that to Nationals and bring this one. However, I do really like the front to back shape that this provides. Since I've drilled my last urethane, I've learned a lot more as far as drilling and everything like that goes. I do really like this very aggressive layout. It allows me to play a little bit more front to, front to back with my heavy hand. If you guys are curious or have any questions about urethane in general, how to play it, surfacing, surfacing is a big one. Urethane should be touched with surface before every set. They like to, their surface gets lost pretty quickly. Every time you throw a ball, you're basically polishing it. You're not, it's taking it away. This one comes out of the box with 500. It now looks like a urethane that's been thrown and you know, it's probably a thousand, two thousand at, at this point with two or three games on it. Please remember to surface your urethanes before every time you throw them. That way you get the most consistency out of it. Also keep in mind, the first shot or two with newly scuffed up urethane, like a lot of you already know, <laughs> hooks a ton. If you do think you're gonna throw urethane, maybe warm up with it for a shot or two in practice. That way you can kind of get rid of that fresh surface urethane and it will allow it to blend a little bit more. Please, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel more than you may think. We're growing very fast and Ace and I are very happy about that, but there's always more to do. We got tons of ideas, especially during the summer when it's a little bit slower that we're gonna be putting out more and more content. Please remember to subscribe so you guys get notified for that. My name is Jason Robarsh. This is Revit Up Bowling. Much love, peace. <laughs>